the Ricky Smiley Morning Show family. I love y'all so much. Y'all start my day off wonderfully. Thank you for that. And I love how we kick off the day with a praise break. And today is that amazing song by my brother, Marvin Sapp. Marvin Sapp looked back over his shoulder into the rearview mirror of his experiences and said, you know what? I never would have made it. And then I love when he comes to that line, Ricky, in the song where he says, I'm stronger, I'm wiser, I'm better. I love that because what he is saying in essence is God is good enough to bless you to grow through what you go through. I think that's a word for somebody right now. God converts our adversity into a university, our suffering into a school, and then we graduate. Here it is. Thank you, Lottie, because we know that we are stronger, wiser, and better as a result of what we've been through. The Bible puts it like this. Count it all joy when you fall into diverse trials and tribulations, knowing the trying of your faith is going to produce endurance. You're stronger, you're wiser, and you're better. Listen, whatever you are up against, going through and dealing with, I don't want you to give up. Just know that God is going to get in the midst of that situation with you. God is going to give you just enough strength to take one step and make it another step. Put one foot in front of the other, and by the time you get through what you have gone through, you're going to be stronger. You're going to be wiser. You're going to be better. I hang out right there stronger because how do you get stronger in this thing called life? Go to the weight room and you'll discover you can't get stronger unless you deal with something heavy. How do you get wiser? You get wiser not just from reading, but you get wiser. Watch this because of what you learned in the school of hard knocks. Stronger wiser, but also better. I'm a better person, not in spite of what I've been through, but because of what I've been through. And now I've got compassion for other people who go through difficult days and find themselves experiencing stuff that is just too much for them. I'm a better person, not in spite of what I've been through, but because of what I've been through. I'm stronger, I'm wiser, and I'm better. And the good news is it's because God brought me through and God brought me through. So my testimony with Marvin Sapp is I never would have made it. There it is, Pastor Haynes, man, the senior pastor of Princeton West Missionary Baptist Church. Let's get into this music. Love you, Pastor Haynes. Yes, sir. Love you, Ricky. Have a great one. Yes, sir. You too. Let's go. All right, 12 minutes after the hour, y'all got your front page right here. Maria, good morning. Good morning, Ricky. The front page is brought to you by Capital One. No fees or minimums and no overdraft fees are another reason banking with Capital One is the easiest decision. What's in your wallet? Terms apply. See CapitalOne.com slash bank. Capital One NA member FDIC. Good morning, RSMS family. Here's what's happening in news. Jennifer and James Crumbly, the parents of Oxford High School mass shooter Ethan Crumbly, were sentenced to 10 to 15 years Tuesday after each was found guilty of four counts of involuntary manslaughter in separate trials earlier this year. Now, the trials were a rare case of parents facing criminal charges and possible jail time over their role in a shooting carried out by their child. In other news, the Biden administration finalized the first national standard to limit dangerous forever chemicals found in nearly half of the drinking water in the United States. They are linked to a variety of health problems, including cancer, thyroid disease, reproductive problems and heart and liver damage, among other issues. Some environmentalists call the new rule a huge breakthrough and historic change that will help protect human health. Get this, y'all. These chemicals are found in the blood of nearly 97% of all Americans. That means all of us sitting here in this room probably have those chemicals in our bodies. This is according to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Lastly, Mattel is updating Scrabble rules for Zoomers. That's Gen Z. Apparently, data indicates that Gen Z is less competitive than the pre-1990 set, 1997 set. The toy maker is releasing a new version of the 75-year-old board game that's faster, more collaborative, and less intimidating. 
and basically dumbing it down, y'all. I'm Maria Moore, and that's what's happening in news. For more stories and updates, visit rickysmileymorningshow.com. Rock T, what you got in sports? Well, the winningest NCAA basketball coach, Stanford's women's basketball coach, Tara Vanderveer, has announced her retirement. Three-time national champion, NCAA record, 1,216 total victories. She coached for 45 years, nearly 40 of them with Stanford. One of the greatest to ever do it, man. Tiger Woods is getting ready to get back on the course, man, for the Masters this week. And the numbers are in, ladies and gentlemen. The Women's National Basketball NCAA Championship game drew four million more than the Men's National Championship game. Yes, indeed, man. So I love it. Let's keep that momentum going. Keep it going. Real quick, uh, and Rick Dog, John Morant is one step closer to winning a lawsuit against a teenager who he punched during an altercation in a pickup basketball game a couple of years ago. The judge just ruled that the NBA star was acting in self-defense when he hit the minor who was 17 at the time. So that's a little small victory for John Morant right there. Uh, that's my quick sports report. Brack, what you got coming up next? Coming up next in the hot spot, Meek Mill said the rumors about his sexuality have started to affect his son. we will tell you all about it up next. It's the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. The hot spot. Drop it like it's hot. hot. Drop it like it's hot. It's so hot and hot. You can catch me at the hot spot. It's the BRA 18. Ooh. Oh, right, God. Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Go ahead, that take me one time. Go ahead, go ahead. Take me! (laughs) (laughs) Oh, boy, don't get me started this morning. uh, How you feeling, Brett? What you got? I'm good. You crazy. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, everybody. I'm your girl, Brad Tad Tad, and this is the hot spot where we bring you music, movies, and more. So let's get off into it. Netflix has slotted Friday, April 12th for the premiere of Good Times, the animated series reboot of the late Norman Lear's groundbreaking TV sitcom. The animated Good Times series finds the latest generation of the Evans family scratching and surviving in one of the last remaining housing projects in Chicago. However, original Good Times star Bernadette Stannis is not a fan of the approach of the show. That's uh, Thelma. Uh, she says that she was actually approached about being involved in the show when it, she was first told about it, but decided to decline. And in the beginning, Bernadette was pitched a particular concept, but claims that they were off in terms of execution. She says she was told the reboot would be progressive, but now that the show is actually coming out, she feels it's opposite. She believes the cartoon missed the mark of the original show. That's mm. what I've been hearing. Yeah. A lot of the commentary about it has been very... Uh, negative that I've been reading. I, I yeah. can't judge one way or the other. Mm-hmm. I ain't seen it, but just looking well, well, at the well, commentary they, from the they, trailers, they, they, they get it's with, very uh, coonish. Yeah, yeah. Why? I wonder why they didn't talk to the original cast members who have a feel for the show and gave them a bigger part as far as the writing and the producing and the movement of the show. You know what I mean? Because mm. they did the show. They did the show themselves, so they know what the vibe of the show is and for them to... Uh, yeah, I don't blame her. I don't blame her. Well, y'all, moving on. Meek Mill says recent rumors about his sexuality, which stem from a lawsuit filed against Diddy, are causing confusion for his 12-year-old son. Meek wrote, I don't believe no Diddy story once they lied about me now. Anybody try to sexually assault me, it will be a bang out on the spot. And y'all know, <laughs> and y'all don't, if y'all don't know that, I don't care. But y'all confusing my son, and he's 12 with people saying his dad is gay. It's sick out here now, so forget it, LOL. Um, in the lawsuit where Meek is named, Lil Rod claimed that he... Uh, that the Dream Chasers founder had a sexual relationship with the former Revolt TV boss. Meek also commented, stop asking me if I'm straight. I'm just going to play it raw how the world is. I'm blessed. I'm okay. But I ain't hearing nothing good. I ain't hearing nothing good looking. Yeah, I just don't understand how uh, someone could, uh, how they just lie on you on the internet and and ain't nothing you can do about it. You got to sit there and take it. You know what I mean? I'm talking about... uh, you know, and, and whatever his sexuality is, is is his business. But but the internet will lie. They come up with all kinds of stories. If you mm-hmm. attach somebody, if you respect somebody, if you love somebody, if you know somebody or whatever, and they just wrap you up in everything, and then they start breaking off into smaller parts about yep. all the other <laughs> people that were s- surrounded, uh, <laughs> whether it be Diddy or whoever. 
just the line. Yep. Then just everybody the got to add day two cent. And by the time yep. you know, it gets to, it's so big and all blown out of proportion and so many extra added lines. You'll be like, D- where did they get that part from? Yeah. Right. It's horrible. It's horrible how things grow. And, and I just couldn't imagine. And then you know what's crazy, Brad? I couldn't imagine having a TV show like you and Judy no. and, 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 and ah. stuff. And I, I I've seen so much stuff come across my Ooh. thing, and I, I don't even watch it. I don't even yeah. watch it. I just Child. I just keep scrolling because you know how I feel about about you and Judy and 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 uh you know my godson and and stuff and you see stuff like that it's just hurtful just how people just outright mm-hmm. lie. It's it's yeah. crazy. Too much yeah. access and uh it's like we live in a world now where everything that's right is wrong mm-hmm. and everything that's wrong is right. <laughs> right. You know and, and I right. dare you to be right or to stand up for what's right. Or whatever, then seem like you get attacked by the world because that's yeah. not the way to, that the current is going. Wherever the current is going, if you're not right. a part of the current, <laughs> right? You swim against the current, you gonna right. you gonna get drowned. Okay, and, and that's what it is. It's horrible. It's sad. I wouldn't want a TV show right now. I wouldn't care how much about just to, well, I don't to give a damn what a, nobody got to say. I'm gonna live my life, and if that's my life yeah. and that's how I live it, then that's just what it is, regardless right. to who say what. Right. Because right, what I'm going right. to do, crawl under a rock or change who I am or how I live because it was somebody else say, no, sir, no, ma'am, no ham, no turkey. And we're going to wrap up the hot spot Come on, on that note. But coming up next, we got yeah, the, no, we sandwich, don't. Yeah. Hit us up for the wake up calls <laughs> <laughs> at 8669-RICKY. That's 8669-R-I-C-K-E-Y. The time now is 24 minutes before the top of the hour. It's the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Your place of residence. Oh, me. That's my shower song. You should have heard me in the shower this morning singing that song. I hit it. Brad, you should have heard your boy in there. You would have been so proud. That me. (laughs) 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 Woo. What a thing got me sweating in here this morning, boy. Oh, <laughs> Lord, help us all, yes, uh, Lord. Boy, you, boy, you can hit a note. Boy, I hit that October London note on the air. They weren't ready, man. <laughs> listen, man. All right, y'all, this, hey, listen, it's about to be a takeover, man. The morning show is doing something huge. Don't miss the biggest party this summer. We got the details coming up. Ricky Smile, the morning show. We having fun this evening. Believe it. All right, y'all, Rick's Monday Morning Show, Lil Duval. Uh, <laughs> Ten minutes before the top of the hour, y'all. Listen, man, hey, we gonna have, we got a big event coming, man, the Birthday Beach Blowout. Listen, y'all, right now, it's gonna sell out. This will be sold out. Listen, everybody, get to Hollywood, Florida. You can fly into Miami International Airport or Fort Lauderdale International Airport or even West Palm Beach and drive down if need be. If you're already in the South Florida area, y'all know where we're gonna be. We're going to be right over there off of Highlanddale Beach Boulevard, the Diplomat Hotel. We got the whole hotel for the whole weekend. Yeah, y'all need to go to rickysmileybbb.com. Everybody go to rickysmileybbb.com if you in South Florida. Everybody uh, for Pompano Beach, for Lauderdale, Miami Homestead. Everybody that's driving over from Tampa, Orlando. Y'all, Jacksonville, Duval, y'all make sure y'all come on down. We're going to have a great time. It's the Ricky Smiley Birthday Beach Blowout. And uh, last year, it was a success. It was sold out. Gary, tell them about your tea party. Oh, baby. Last year, baby, the tea party was tea and honey. I mean, we sold completely out. People were trying to get tickets. And they was like, you know, maybe y'all should have got them a little earlier. But definitely, honey, this year, get your tickets early because, baby, the tea party will sell out. I'm telling y'all that now because everybody wants some good hot tea. So y'all better definitely get your tickets. I love that oh. setup too, Gary. Oh, my gosh. Mm-hmm. He had the actual, t- they had little tea packs. Yes. I mean, the crumpets. ladies had yeah the crumpets, crumpets and the hats on. I mean, it is like a very intimate. It was a real tea party. Oh, <laughs> it was. my gosh, it was so good. Yes. And uh, and so, man, you know, and Maria, tell them about what, watching the sun come up over the ocean, what you have going on right there on the beach. 
Oh, yeah. You know, yoga flexibility is just so important at our age because you're going to be out dancing. You're going to be out partying. And it's a good way to get some peace and enjoy the beautiful nature all around uh, South Florida. And then we're also going to do a dance class. So I'm, I'm going to pull out all of your favorites from back in the day, make you reminisce about that time you used to get it in in the club. Um, but oh, yeah. we are going to have a great time. And, Ricky, I just want to give you your flowers. You have grown this event um, even before last year, and folks just love to come out and see you and party with you. The comedy shows, everything. So I'm looking forward right. to it. Well, we're gonna have a good time. So listen, all right, we got much more information about this stuff. So you need to book now. Make sure you go to RickySmileyBBB.com. That's RickySmileyBBB.com. More show coming up. So CNN post on a social media page where they talked about Iowa getting defeated by the undefeated South Carolina team. And instead of them shining a light on Don Staley and the South Carolina team, they decide to put this picture up of the Iowa team and Caitlin Clark. Hmm, I wonder why. If Iowa lost and you're talking about the winning team, why would you not put the winning team picture on the post? But if we say why we think you did what you did, then you know what they gonna call us, right? If we say why we think you put her picture up there, why you're talking about a team that actually got defeated by an undefeated team, which is the team we should be shining a light on, the right. team that you should be right. giving media coverage to, Caitlin Clark and Iowa have enough media coverage. Yeah, shout out to, shout out to CNN for that uh, uh, bogus coverage. Hold it. He's half man, half woman. It's Gary. I want to hip you to the team. Gary, All right, six minutes after the hour, y'all, the same was being brought to you by. Olay Hyaluronic Body Wash Lotion nourishes your skin with all-day hydration. Visibly better skin in 14 days. Also try Olay Hyaluronic Body Wash. Buy online or at your local retailer. Gary has a tea. Good morning. Good morning, Maria. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, America. Good morning to you. It's Wednesday, a beautiful, beautiful day in the neighborhood. And here's what's happening in celebrity news, y'all. Portia Williams and Phaedra Parks, y'all. The world knew that they were inseparable, y'all, when they both appeared on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. But, y'all, after Phaedra, y'all, spread that devastating rumor about Candy Burris, the pair fell out, y'all. And Portia exposed Phaedra, y'all, during that reunion show. Well, now it's been reported that Phaedra was booted, you know, from the show, and now she stars on Married to Mess. And we all know that and what have you. But recently, y'all, on Amazon Live, Portia was asked about the status of her friendship, y'all, with Phaedra. Portia said that she recently, y'all, chatted with Phaedra as they shared the same makeup artist. She also added that she and Phaedra have a lot in common. She said, quote, I definitely have texted her from time to time. She said, you know, she's very, very busy and I'm real busy. She said, I have a lot going on in my life, she said, and she has a lot going on in hers. But the friendship... She said, some friendship, you don't have to talk to somebody every day, literally. She said, I talked to her the other day on the phone, and you would have thought, y'all, that we talked every day or the day before. She said, you literally would have think that, y'all. She said, and those are the type of friendships, y'all, that you need to cherish, the type of people that you can call and catch up with. Let's go, honey, on the kiki. Let's start kiki y'all, and let's just get to enjoying relationships. Isn't that nice? That means they are bad friends. They are bad because, yeah, you know, Ricky, because, you know, um, Phaedra got kicked off the show. They told this girl she had to exit the stage left, honey, and they put her off the show because of that man that went down with um, Portia and Candy and all this other mess. But now Portia's letting it be known, y'all, that they do talk now, which is a good thing. And and, and I like both of them because, you know, they were called Frick and Frack <laughs> when they were on the show. So congratulations to them. And I think more people should be that way. If you fall out with somebody, honey, I mean, you know, just take a breather and then go back because, you know, life is very short and we need our friends, honey, because just think, honey, when we um, all get to heaven and see each other, honey, you know, and just start chitting and chatting and stuff. So, you know. When we all uh -huh. see mm -hmm. Jesus, we'll sing and shout the victory. Victory, exactly. So congratulations. Yeah, so congratulations to them, y'all. All right, moving on in other celebrity <laughs> news, y'all. Halle Bailey, y'all. Now, we all know Miss Halle Bailey, y'all. She gave birth to her son uh, about three months ago, y'all. And they were sending it, honey. She already, um, her, um, she already has, comp her, her, her body didn't snap back. And they say this girl's completely giving the snap back body. Now, they're saying, y'all, that the gorgeous actress show off her bikini mom bod, honey, on social media yesterday, and they said almost everyone on the Twitter was amazed, but 
They said not everybody was so happy for a body. Many people, um, many extremely critical people, they said, were surprised, y'all, that Hallie hasn't completely snapped back to her pre-pregnancy shape, honey. And they showed the pictures of this girl, and they said, honey, this girl, honey, she's oh still looking God. fat and stuff, and she should have never posed for those pictures and what have you. But, but, I mean, I thought she looked amazing and stuff. But how long does it take to get back to your um, pre-pregnancy um, body? You I mean, don't get back to your pre-pregnancy oh. body because you didn't have a baby, so you have a new type of body. You know, really? you need to normalize mm. it. The skin gets loose and you have stretch marks, but you have a wonderful, beautiful new life and a child to raise. And so mm. I'm glad she's out there with her natural body. Doesn't have to be perfect. I think it just puts too much pressure on other women who are trying to, you know, just get in shape and be healthy and get their energy back after having kids. And men like that little pouch. The little, really? The little, mm-hmm. the little yeah, poop. Don't nobody yeah, like so, Brad, stretch. you recently gave birth. Have you got back to your pre-pregnancy body? Absolutely not. And I D G A F. Uh, (laughs) I have a happy life, happy wife, happy home, happy, beautiful, amazing son. And yes, I don't care. Yeah, I like, I, I like when they stretch marks. Spell they name. Less. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, she shouldn't be showing it then if you ain't back to your body then. So if you try to Lies. show the world, take back. Don't do that. Don't do that. Well, she's showing it. I mean, you show if you're gonna pose in the bikini or something, try to be thirst trapping. She's not then, trying to be thirst trapping. She's just enjoying her life. Well, she in a bikini though. So, so what? You can't wear a bikini. And how can you get back to a body that you had before you were pregnant when you when you already didn't had a baby? You you just have a different type of body. Well, you have surgery. Yeah. No. You walk around no. wearing no. a thong. Everybody you yeah, you, you wore a no thong surgery. on a public you wore beach. A thong. You you have no right. Oh, baby, honey, my body's where well, it was. Yeah, <laughs> no, it wasn't. Well, say what? It wasn't. <laughs> and you ain't never had surgery, and you scared to get and it. And you ain't never had it. no baby. So don't keep that. You gotta have surgery. Uh, you. You're not shaped like, shape like one of them characters on Paw Patrol. Yeah. <laughs> Built like a Don't wisdom a tooth. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I'm sorry, Gary, that was funny. What he said? <laughs> Built like, like a wisdom tooth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. The today, honey, is one of my favorite colors. My color today, y'all, is tourmaline. On the high end, you say tourmaline. And on the low end, you say brown. That's your color today. You go to hell, honey. <laughs> You know what? Yeah. It wasn't that funny. Yeah, it was. Maria, 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 Maria on the floor. Jesus oh, Christ. Damn. Oh, Ricky. Oh, too. Oh, 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 see what a wisdom tooth looks like? Hold on. Hold on, Rock. Oh, Hold on. Oh, Ricky. Hold on. You know what? I, I just want to say. Huh? Whoever said that Gary with the T is built like a wisdom to me to take the rest of the day off. All right, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Oh, so hey, sir, you have a nice day. That, that was real hurtful. We can go to commercial. Make stop uh, uh, All right, y'all. All right, y'all, I got your wake-up calls, man. I apologize for the behavior this morning, so I'm so embarrassed this morning. Don't forget to go to rickysmileybbb.com and join us at the Diplomat Hotel for my big birthday blowout this August the 9th through the 11th. Hit me up right now with the wake-up calls, 866-9-RICKY, 866-9-R-I-C-K-E-Y, Ricky Smiley Morning Show. The Ricky Smiley Birthday Beach Blowout is back, and we're headed down to South Florida August 9th through 11th for the biggest party of the year. For more information, go to rickysmileybbb.com. All right, Ricky Smiley the Morning Show. I got the wake up call. Get in there. 866. Here we go. Tisha Harris calling from Orlando, Florida, calling to wake up my son, Dylan Foster, and my husband, Eric Harris. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Hey, this is Valerie from Alabama, and I like to wake up everybody down at Alabama State University. Wake up, wake up. This is Pippi calling from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I'm calling to wake up my nephew on his leap year birthday. Wake up, Markel. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Yo, wake up. If you listening on your radio, it's a whole gang of city tuned in, lock in. What's yours? Because we gon' let them know. Oh, no, we in Miami, wake, wake, up. wake up. Wake up. Seattle, wake up. And Detroit, wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up.
Ricky Smiley Birthday Beach Blowout is going down August the 9th through the 11th in Hollywood, Florida at the Diplomat Beach Resort. Man, listen, man, it's going to be a lot of relaxation, celebration, inspiration, live music, pool parties, barbecue, Greek festivities, festivities, and much more. Listen, man, jet ski, parasailing right there in the beautiful Beautiful Diplomat Hotel in Hollywood, Florida. Hey, if you in the Fort Lauderdale area, Fort Lauderdale uh, Hill, uh, West Palm Beach, uh, everybody that listen to us on the flame, y'all need to come down. You don't need to miss this, man. Everybody in Homestead, y'all know what it is. Come on up. Miami, come on up. Duval County, drive on down. Everybody in Gainesville, Orlando, everybody that's listening to us on Star, all of the uh, Hot 105 or uh, whatever, man. Uh, I'm so excited, man. You'll get a chance to see some of your favorite radio personalities from all over the country. Hopefully, get to see Shelby and Big Lip, myself, uh, the whole Ricky Smiley Morning Show. We're going to have a good time. We're going to start dropping artists, man. These this event will sell out. Y'all make sure you go to rickysmileybbb.com. That's rickysmileybbb.com and go ahead and make your reservation. Uh, the kids will probably be getting ready to head back to school. That's going to probably be your last vacation before the fall starts. Listen, it's going to be a whole lot of fun. So make sure y'all come on out. Gary's Tea Party is going to be off the chain. Everything, everything we're going to be doing is off the chain. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Ricky Smiley, BBB.com. Church announcements up next. Ladies and gentlemen, our favorite grandmama, Miss Bernice Jenkins. Yeah. It's getting hot in hell. Oh, that's what the song need to be, Jane. It's getting hot in hell. Yeah. All y'all out there that's sinning and have not given your life to the Lord, you're going to be singing that song. It's getting hot in hell. Oh. That's what, gonna be, that's what they're going to be singing, Janie. Oh, that's a song, ain't it? Yeah, but that's because we trying to go to heaven. We ain't going to hell. <laughs> as soon as you hear the trumpet sound, get yeah. ready. Yeah. Oh, he's coming back. <laughs> <laughs> what will you be doing when he blow the trumpet when you hear? Oh, <laughs> will you be at the club when you hear? <laughs> or will you be at church when you hear? <laughs> 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 Where will you be oh, when the trumpet sounds? Oh. <laughs> Here's our church announcement this man and govern yourself. Oh, 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 <laughs> we are so happy for Cecil and Loretta Abbott. Uh, who it's gave Loretta. birth. It's what? It's Miss Loretta. Loretha Abbott, who gave birth to a healthy young man last Friday. Oh, no. And they are home from the hospital. Now, Cecil is 87 years old, and Loretha is 73. Oh. And the baby came out at 39 years old already. Oh, my. The baby already got a job at UPS, which he will be starting working on Monday, praise God. <laughs> He can do, he can do solid foods, but he still had to have a bottle. <laughs> Congratulations to Deacon Ray Pruitt and his wife, Gloria. Yeah. Their daughter, Shanithia, graduates high school next month and has a full scholarship to start working as a starting stripper at Magic City in Atlanta this summer. <laughs> Oh, and she been twerking on TikTok since the fifth grade, and we are proud that she's been recognized for her talent, and now she can get paid. And uh, yep, uh, Deacon Ray Pruitt and Gloria pay some bills in that house. Oh, yeah. Now, strip club scholarship. 
the homegoing service for Sister Geneva Harris' father, Percy Harris. You know Percy? Yeah. Percy Harris Sr. is the funeral going to be Saturday at 1 o'clock. Mm -hmm. he, he was 84, and he spent the last nine years fighting ingrown toenails, <laughs> severe back itching, <laughs> kidney spasm. <laughs> But what took him out, he had got a pig heart in a transplant last month. Uh -oh. And they, uh, they went to the Whopper house, and he couldn't resist the urge to jump over the counter and throw himself on the grill and fry himself into bacon. Oh. <laughs> you understand that, Janie? Yeah. He got a pig heart in a transplant surgery. Yeah. And he went to the Whopper house and he jumped over the counter and threw himself on the grill and fried himself in the bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Smelled good too, but it's gonna be a closed casket. No, <laughs> where will you be when the trumpet sound? <laughs> that concludes our church announcement. Oh, I call you, Jenny. <laughs> Oh man, this is not the morning show. Hey, 13 before the top of the hour, y'all kicking them off with me. It's going down to Baby Face Birthday. John Ann, what up, boy? I'm good, my young man. I'm do up real big for Baby Face, man. Happy birthday. And of course, hit me up on the gram at J A H Lion Sun. J A H Lion Sun. Everybody, 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 y'all get ready, man. Y'all make sure y'all go to rickysmileybbb.com. For the birthday beach Woo! blowout, man, Woo! in sunny South Florida. Hey, man, it's going to be at the Diplomat Hotel, man. Listen, do not wait till the last minute. This will sell out like it did last year. Whole lot of fun stuff on the beach, man. Party all night. D don't bring a pillow. We took all the pillows out of the hotel because it ain't going to be no sleep. No pillows, no cover, no blankets in the hotel at all. At all because it's party from dust to dawn. Black Tony, where you at? Cuz, hey, cuz, uh, cuz, nah, shawty, listen, listen, hear me out. You got your phone. This gonna be a bad, this gonna be a bad phone call for you right here. I'm telling you right now. Wow. And, um, you might top me out of it. Or Rocky, wow. or, or, or Muriel, or somebody. Talk to me, man. Talk to me. I'm, I try to, I think it's time for I, I'm I'm I don't think I can do this no more, son. Do what? Can't do what? I'm ready. I'm ready to quit, son. Cause it's just I'm just gonna be honest with you, son. It's not that I don't. It's not that I don't love y'all no, or, or care about y'all, but it's just the stress of being a or being a personality on the radio and just being getting up early every morning, son, and coming in here every day. It's just too much on me right now. It's just when the it's, last it's, time you been I, to work. Just, that's not really the point. The point is these hours. Shout it's just too much pressure. Hey, too much pressure. Be too much pressure, Rock T, to keep getting up every, early in the morning. Every morning, 6 to 10, yeah. 5 o'clock in Central Time, shout it. I looked at the whole situation, shout it. It's just too much. Can I ask? And I, I really feel like I'm at the point, I'm at the point where I, I'm at the point where I need to retire. Aww. Can I ask you a quick question, Black Tony? Yo. How you quit something you never started? <laughs> see, Shadi, what you see what you trying to do? You see you're trying to you you trying to be like a you like a Karen, Shadi. A what? You like you you like a Karen. You a Karen. But I'm going to be going off on YouTube. Yeah, you trying to you trying to point out, you trying to point out things which right which don't even matter. Maria, do you understand what You're I'm doing from? good. You're you're trying to invest in your mental health. And that's really important. Yo, yeah, yeah, that's what's good for me. Yeah, what, yeah. If we, what, if we, what, what if we all invest in our mental health? I mean, if we all invest in our mental health, we wouldn't even have a morning show because none of us would come to work. <laughs> it would, hey, 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 Blood Tone there. You can't call me out of, you can't can call I say me out of this. I, I can, think I'm ready I'm to say, hang but let me, let me make a point. Let me make a point. I want everybody to listen. I want everybody to go in deep thought. If if all of us on this morning show invested in our mental health and not come to work like Black Tony, this is what the morning show would sound like.
what the hell is we doing right now? <laughs> I'm trying to quit. <laughs> I'm trying to quit. I'm going to leave you a voice message. Now, look, you need to tell Pootie to tell Man Man that he's going to have to get peanut from work tomorrow. They're going to have to stop by Peach's house and get DD EBT card from Nene because they're going to have to get some food. You know they ain't got no money with it. But don't forget to tell Nana that Pancake called and said Pig going to be out of jail tomorrow. And he's going to be at Fat Fat House with Twan and Bobo. But, you know, he don't need to be over there because they be over there with Scooby and them smoking weed all day. And Scooby's stepdaddy Tank be right there with him with his old ass. Ashley Lee for baby address and go over there to get a little two new number because you know he don't know that Gigi and Black is coming down from Detroit for month month funeral and they got two tickets on Spirit from Boo Sister Punkin who worked there you get them discount now and t tell your mama to call me because Big T pregnant over here with twins and don't know who the daddy is but we all know it's either that boy J Bo or Light Skin Poop just call me him hold it he's half man half woman it's Gary I wanna hip you to the T mm -mm. it's Gary baby Gary. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning to you. It's Wednesday, a beautiful day in the neighborhood, and here's what's happening in celebrity news, y'all. Grand opening, grand closing, y'all. They're saying less than a week after Aoki Lee Simmons, y'all, confirmed restauranter Vittorio Asif, honey, was her boyfriend. They're saying that their short-lived fling is said to already be over, y'all. They're saying, y'all, that the 21-year-old daughter, Kamora Lee Simmons and Russell Simmons, sent social media into a frenzy when the pictures of her kissing this beautiful 65-year-old Serafina founder made their way online. Now, the pair took a romantic vacation in St. Bart's last week, which ended, y'all, with Simmons going on Instagram Live and referring to him as her boyfriend, y'all. Now, everybody said, you know, that it was a sad thing, but they said, while the Harvard alum, honey, seemed more than happy to play couple with the restaurant during the IG Live, it seems, y'all, that their romance was never much of anything. You know, at least they said, according to AOV, yeah, ain't that sad? I wanted them to really win because, I mean, she's a young woman. <clears throat> she deserves a, a, a wealthy man because she comes from a wealthy family, what have you. And now the relationship is already over. I mean, yeah. that's kind of sad. Yeah, I mean, got that's tired love. Of, uh, man got tired of watching Peppa Pig. <laughs> <laughs> is that what it was? Because, I mean, she seemed so happy with it. And I think, you know, with the public getting all in their business, talking about he too old for her and she this and that and the other stuff. And that's what break people up and stuff. So but if I was her, mm -hmm. I would she go back and sneak. Him. Oh yeah, too young for him. Oh yeah, too young for him. I would sneak back with him, honey, and get my man, honey, and y'all could all go to blazes. So there you have it. Mm -hmm. That's a man, honey. Uh, so. that, that's a big age difference. Yeah, it's man, a big age girl difference. That girl ain't finna watch C SPAN. <laughs> Well, honey, well, she could go shopping, honey, and, and do all other things and make her other girlfriends jealous because they ain't got no money. But anyway, that's my little two cents. All right, moving on in other celebrity news, y'all. Now, this is a very sad situation, y'all. Now, okay, we all know that, you know, um, Latasha from um, Escape, y'all, you know, she's the beautiful sister, honey, of... Um, uh, what's her name? I can't think of her name. Huh? What's her name? Tamika. Uh, Tamika, yeah. Well, now they're saying over the weekend, you know, it was a big old mess because they were saying <laughs> that it was revealed, y'all, that um, Latasha Sky, y'all, was trying to prevent Escape, y'all, from touring with SWV unless, y'all, that she got paid for licensing the Escape name. Now, despite not being the sole owner of the um, trademark, y'all, well, they said now that they know why that this was definitely a situation, they said because... According to YouTube blogger Funky Dineva, they're saying, y'all, that Latasha and her husband, honey, Rocky Vivian, stopped paying, y'all, the note on Latasha's tour bus, resulting in a repossession, y'all, in the middle of her promotional tour, y'all. They said that's why this girl wanted so much. She wanted to catch y'all. Now, they're saying Funky claims, y'all, that Latasha and her team came downstairs to find all their belongings scattered around the hotel lobby with their tour bus gone. Now, they're saying, y'all, that um, the tour bus... Wait a minute. What? Yeah, that's what they said, child. They said, baby, that the tour bus is the um, same bus, y'all, that Latasha was filming on when she took to the internet to deny claims that she and Rocky stole $30,000 from her sister, Tamika. Now, they're saying, speaking on that, missing $30,000, um, Funky claims, y'all, that there was, honey, um, many more ways that, than things that was going on with this situation, and, you know, it's coming out or what have you. But I, I thought they had made up. Look, I saw online that Latasha had made up with her sisters, or with her sister. And what happened? I don't know. I haven't seen anything. But she was on a tour bus somewhere, and the tour bus left? Yeah, baby. They said the tour bus got repossessed, honey. A big, um, I guess, um, what you call those trucks? A tow truck. A tow Picked truck, baby. A whole tour bus. And her huh? picture is on the side of the big tour bus, too. And they got a, a nice picture. I'll be doggone. That's what, Trump, allegedly, uh, that's what's being said. So the said. tour bus was wrapped. 
And what's rap baby with and the And her picture on it, and it's on a tow truck going down 85. <laughs> oh my Man. God. <laughs> yeah, we went no flat or nothing. No flat or nothing. Transmission, nothing. Uh, voltage regulator, nothing. <laughs> nothing. So, honey, but um, but we're gonna pray though, y'all. <laughs> it's a sad situation. I don't. I, I just think it's sad. We just gotta pray, honey. But bless her. So, I mean, she just, you know, just want her money or whatever. And just, I think the sisters just need to get back together eventually. But right now, SWV and Escape is on tour, and they look like they're having a great time. So, congratulations to the, the girl group, honey. They're doing real well. And I hope that they uh get it all together and she get back on the road with them and they patch up yeah. whatever differences they have. Because yeah. uh, you're stronger together. Exactly. As, uh, Barack Obama used to say. Yep. You know, and I, like I said, I just saw something on social media with her. I thought she would apologize, you know, to the, um, her sister and, you know, to the group and to the people that, you know, she may have had situations with. But I don't know. But nevertheless, we just don't keep them all lifted up and praying. And while we're praying, y'all, um, it's being reported, y'all, Ray J wants to hammer out, y'all, a formal joint custody agreement. Now, they're saying, y'all, that Ray J has officially filed documents in response, y'all, to Princess Love's um, request for the Superior Court of California to dissolve their seven-year union. Now, after noting y'all that they were splitting up due to irreconcilable differences, they're saying that the singer-songwriter attests y'all that he wants joint legal and physical custody, honey, of their children, five-year-old Melody and four-year-old um, Epic. Now, they say he also knows y'all that he and Princess Love will decide later on how much money he will pay his estranged partner for support. Additionally, they say Ray J um, stipulates that they will, y'all, each handle the legal fees and costs. Now, they say if he further confirms that jewelry and personal items, the money he earns and saves after the separation and other belongings and debt jobs that belong to each part separately will be addressed later. Hmm. Oh, Lord Jesus. I tell you, it's amazing. I still don't understand no, Ricky, how y'all get married and then you divorce and then you go through all this fighting. How you marry somebody fine as Princess Love? How you let that get away? It ain't nothing in these streets, I can promise you that. Nothing. Yeah. Well, nothing. He, he must think so. And, Bad know. attitudes and dead skin. Ah, oh, my God. Because <laughs> <laughs> y'all men always think it's something better around the corner because y'all you, you didn't know, been in lied to the other woman and talk about your doggone wife and say, honey, she don't cook for me, she don't do nothing. And that another woman, she knows exactly how to play you, honey. She start cooking for you and rubbing your damn feet and whatever. And so then once you get her, honey, it's a whole different situation. Yeah. So Move in and find out. Yeah, so that's right, so honey. But you know, I feel so she bad for thin washcloths and small pillows on her bed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See that? <laughs> <laughs> See that? Dead, Hair on her dead, soap. Dead skin. Mm -hmm. uh, my lord, honey. <laughs> so use a loofah. Let's keep Princess Love lifted up in our prayer. All right, the Kahlua today, honey, is one of my favorite Kahlua. My Kahlua today, y'all, is tourmaline. On the high end, you say tourmaline, and on the low end, you say beautiful brown. That's your Kahlua for the day. Dirty ceiling okay. fan blades. Okay. <laughs> ceiling fan blade got all that damn dust on. Hey, how much them all them little thin rags? How many thin rags you get at Walmart? I saw them yesterday. You get 30, you get 30 for $3.97. <laughs> <laughs> get 30 damn washcloths rocks you for three ninety seven. dollars You thin, boy. Them damn, damn rags be so thin. You got to get like taking a shower with a get... McDonald's napkin. <laughs> <laughs> Might well go on and go to, go to get you some napkins. A <laughs> napkin. <laughs> get them na <laughs> napkin washcloths. <laughs> you need to go get home it. for the day special, okay? You, you are doing too much. Okay. Oh. And then she use arm and arm and hammer larger detergent. Your clothes don't even smell like nothing when they come. <laughs> <out. laughs> <laughs> clothes ain't got no damn scent to them. <laughs> Man, baby, did you wash it? Did you do the laundry? I don't smell nothing. I'm gonna get some gain up in. I'm gonna get some tired of something. Put <laughs> some scent to it. Oh, so that bad boy. <laughs> Oh man, Ricky Fine Morning Show. Listen, man, it, listen, we got Wellness Wednesday uh, coming up. But listen, let's talk about this right quick, man. The birthday beach blowout. Listen, everybody need to go to Ricky Smiley. Uh, go to Ricky Smiley, BBB.com. The Ricky Smiley birthday beach blowout, August the 9th through the 11th in Hollywood, Florida, at the Diplomat Beach Resort, man. Last year it was sold out. Now we went and got something, man, that's super nice right on the ocean. Uh, listen, man, like walk out of the outside of the hotel. You are right on the beach. 
uh, jet skis, parasailing. Uh, Maria's going to be having, uh, what is it when the sun come up? Your live yoga? Yes, sunrise. Yes, the sunrise, sunrise yoga. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, 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 what was, and that was a hit. And also was a hit was Gary's Tea Party. So make sure you bring your little church hat and, and your little uh, 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 well, yeah, what, fascinator. What, what? It's called a fascinator. You wear your little fascinators. Yes, honey. And men can wear their fascinators, too. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, no, also, there were men there. Uh, yeah. yeah, there were. It, yeah. It, it was interesting to hear the ladies' perspective on stuff. I know I oh, yes. it because I wanted to see what the ladies had to say and their thoughts on But Gary was pouring some hot tea live. That was one of that event sold out quick. And we're going to add this year, uh, Roxy, tell us about your swing and line dancing. Yes, sir. My, uh, my wife, Crystal, and I, we're going to bring the dancing date night event for all the couples out there on behalf of the Perfect Pair Podcast Live, sparking up your relationship, live dancing, swinging out, bring a partner. If you don't know how to line dance and swing out, don't matter. We're going to teach you how to do all that, beginner couples line and all that stuff. We're going to have a good time, man. So. Yeah, you- yeah, you got to do the cowboy hats this time. Now that Beyonce got a country album, I would love to see that, man. It's going to be live. So make sure y'all go to uh, RickySmileyBBB.com. That's RickySmileyBBB.com. Dr. Kyle, you're up next. Health, happiness, and hope. It's Wellness Wednesday on the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. All right, Ricky Smiley Morning Show. It's Wellness Wednesday, and we are dedicated to working our Working on our physical and mental health all year. Joining us this morning is the one and only Dr. M.J. Collier. Dr. Collier, good morning. Good morning, Ricky Smiley, Rock T, Special K, Gary with the T, Maria Moore, and the Brat. How's everybody doing this morning? Man, we good. Happy to have you this morning. And I, I heard that you had some information about eclipse sickness okay eclipse sickness is uh in a, that phenomenon you know because of changes in the atmosphere change in the gravitational pull when everything lined up perfectly people were experiencing things like vertigo dizziness nausea uh and of course anybody that looked at it uh and after a thousand one is telling people not to do it there were still people wanting to take a peek and what can happen is it can do permanent damage to your retina it could burn your retina instantly and uh give you you know some visual discomfort and uh, for some people they might recover from it but it just wasn't worth taking the chance you could have just watch it on television or whatever so that was a big problem right okay ricky so one of the questions that i ask my patients when they come in for their a, a first evaluation usually is do you drink alcohol do you drink coffee they will quickly and sometimes proudly state yes i drink wine i drink crown i drink vodka etc but oftentimes we'll seem almost apologetic about coffee Yes, I drink it, but only one cup a day, or not every day, or I'm trying to cut back, or I'm trying to change the green tea. Well, Ricky, guess what? The myth that coffee is bad for you is just that, a myth. Studies now show that enjoying one to two cups of coffee, caffeinated or decaf, actually may lengthen your life and lower risk for various chronic diseases. One of the most exciting findings in this is that coffee drinkers have a decreased risk of developing type 2 diabetes. As a matter of fact, people that drink three to four cups per day have a 25% lower risk of developing diabetes than those who don't drink coffee. And the likelihood of developing diabetes decreases about 6% for each cup of coffee that you consume up to about six cups. It was initially thought that there may be other reasons for these findings. For instance, like, you know, people that drink coffee, they go work out more often, or they have a healthier lifestyle, or they don't drink things like soda. But they corrected for all those variables. And this study was conducted in over a million people in Europe, Asia, and North America for over two decades, so a 20-year evaluation of coffee. Researchers found that if coffee drinkers increased coffee consumption by one cup per day, they decreased the risk of diabetes by 11%. But if they decreased their consumption, if they decreased their consumption, they increased the risk of becoming diabetic by 17%. So increasing by one cup, 11% improvement, decreasing by one cup, 17% higher incidence of diabetes. And that yeah. effect was not observed in people that drink tea. And the benefit is not from caffeine, Ricky, but from a compound called polyphenols in coffee. There are hundreds of phytochemicals in coffee, all of them beneficial. A cup of coffee also, and this is very interesting, I found, a cup of coffee also contains up to 1.8 grams of fiber. This is roughly half the amount in a serving of broccoli. So this is why a lot of people will drink coffee to stimulate their gut response so they can have a good and effective bowel movement. So one of the most potent polyphenols in coffee is chlorogenic acid. 
That's been shown to improve insulin sensitivity and control the blood sugars. And guess what? It reduces inflammation. Always inflammation. Everything is an inflammatory disease process. And it repairs and protects cells on the cellular level. That effect is most profound in the liver and the pancreas. And the pancreas, of course, is very important in producing insulin and plays a critical role in diabetes and controlling your blood sugar. Okay. Yeah, I, I, yeah, man. Make sure you get that Cafe Du Monde with that chicory in it. That's <laughs> the best coffee. I, I ain't been able to drink nothing else. Uh, I have to have that every morning, and I boil it on a stove like a old, like my grandma used to. I got a a percolator, like I turn the fire on, like cook my coffee. So it, it's that serious. Let's let's go to the phone That's line. The Good morning. I've had two back surgeries. I uh, with my L five S one. Um, and they fused it the first time, put rods and screws. But then I found out I have osteogenesis. Should I have just went with a stimulator because I'm still having back problems and stuff? Is there any other thing that you can advise me to do? Because I'm tired of okay. hurting. Oh, we understand. Back pain, particularly the L4, L5 disc and L5, S1 disc. So the rods and the screws help separate and create that disc space and decrease the pressure in your back. So the osteogenesis, that's just uh, weak bones, basically. So the two things are different disease states. So the stimulator is very, very effective in relieving pain. I have found that I had one patient who had been suffering for almost 15 years with pain. She got a stimulator implanted, and she came in. I asked her what her pain level was. She said zero. For the first time, she was pain-free in, in about almost 15 years. So that is a very effective way to get some relief from pain. And, and they can do a test on you to see if you will benefit from it. All right, John, without the call you. Good morning. I have, I guess it would be called a reverse dysfunction, erectile. I have a trouble achieving orgasm. What is that called and what can I do? Okay, well, the two things. One, you probably need to have your testosterone level checked because that increases the sensitivity in your res your sexual response. Uh, but my product, the Lipo T, is amazing in helping that. You can go to my website, lipodrops.com, and look up the Lipo T product. And for the ladies, Lipo Hers, it improves the intensity of your orgasms and gives you great, great sexual response, enhances you, and makes you young again as far as your sexual function is concerned. Yeah, bro, bro get on that, bro. You're not one down. You knock a building down, bro. <laughs> You better get that that that, uh, that lipodrop.com. What you call it, Dr. Cotton? <laughs> That's it, Lipo T. And Lipo yes, Hurry is for the ladies. <laughs> okay, yeah, so if you enjoy coffee, <laughs> it's nice to know the addition to provide the morning pick me up. It's also good, does good things for your health as well as the Lipo T. <laughs> so, yeah, Ricky, these are the opinions of Dr. A pogo stick, <laughs> sir. <laughs> <laughs> These are the opinions of Dr. MJ Carr. You're not those of Ricky Smiley. Diving the Ricky Smiley Morning Show cast or its production crew. Ricky, I'm looking forward to the Birthday Beach Bass. That Diplomat Hotel is a five-star-plus facility. It is an amazing hotel right there on the beach in that atrium area. they got a lot of bars and restaurants down there. People will be gathering. It's going to be an amazing event. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. We're excited to have you there. Hey, brother, called in. Look, if your, your your wife will turn you into the little thing that be stopping the doorknob from putting a hole in the water. The little thing that be going, <laughs> boing, 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 boing. <laughs> What they call that thing? No, they call you. It's a door stopper. It's a door stopper. Yeah, a door stopper, bro. You want to be a door stopper, you better get that Dr. Collie a uh, lipo T. <laughs> Morning show. All right, y'all, listen, we are four months until the Rick Smiley Beach blowout. Y'all, listen, man, it's going down August the 9th. It will be 11 at the Diplomat Hotel in Hollywood, Florida. So make sure you go to RickSmileyBBB.com to hold your room now. Coming up, man, we got my favorite segment, Fix It Jesus, with Rita Brent. Up next, Rick Smiley Morning Show. Fix It Jesus. Fix It Jesus. Fix It Jesus. All right, y'all, Rick Smiley Morning Show. Hey, my favorite segment on the whole show. I swear I love it. It's Fix It Jesus <laughs> with comedian extraordinaire Jackson State University's own member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, the one and only comedian Rita Brent. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, man, Rita, I know you got something uh, after. You gotta, we got to make up for that, 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 that comedy debacle in Mobile, Alabama. <laughs> Oh, if you talked about that, <laughs> we to talk no, about I have, that I'm, one day. I'm scared to talk about it. Ooh, <laughs> Me too. Boy. We, we go, we go leave that well, in the pants. We perform at a a a a, a, a pig foot emporium. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky gave me the mic and said, "Good luck." I was like, "Oh my god." Okay. <laughs> it was that bad. 
It was that bad. They had it, it was a setup. It wasn't the people that paid their money. Mm. It was just a bad setup. We're gonna do a whole segment on 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 promoters mm. and uh, them half doing stuff and cutting corners. It was absolutely horrible for the wow. sake of comedy. It would have been good for a blues band, but not comedy. Yeah. But, oh, but, I've been in those but, before. Oh yeah. Not a blues band. Blues band. Yeah. It was a and the comedy show was a BYOB. No. Yeah. Talking about you, big bottles, milk jugs with crown apple in it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, I didn't you, been in that bowl of gumbo before. I already hey, know. Hey, hey, you you trying to tell a joke of somebody standing in front of the stage uh drinking a a, a beer like the, yeah. the, like like right in in between you and the audience. Just don't yeah. care. Just no decorum and yep. six hundred people backstage. Oh yeah, yeah. there you yep. go. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Well, uh, well, this is this is pretty funny here. Uh, this lady could have been on the show with us. Now, you know, uh, if if you have Wi-Fi, you know that everybody and their mama been beefing on the internet, okay? But I honestly did not know that grandmamas and big mamas were beefing too. Let's uh, let's take a listen. I got a message for uh, Sister Pearl. Tell her I caught her leaving out my house the other day when you thought I was at work. I know you and my husband been sneaking around. I don't give a damn for one because my bills stay paid and that thing don't even get up no more. It's oh. broke. So you I can have it. it. Oh. And for two, when I catch you at church Sunday, just make sure you take them heels off because I'm going to knock your ass smooth up out of them. <laughs> Run and tell <tear> past <laughs> <that>. <laughs> Yeah. It just don't get up. It, it, it might not. It don't get up. It don't get up for you. <laughs> That's what it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what yeah. It is. <laughs> well, uh, we we definitely need Jesus to fix this. Uh, I think we should just help the choir come up with some good songs to sing that day for uh, Sister yeah. Pearl and her beat down. Uh, uh, so let's just run through the list. Precious Lord, take these hands by Mahalia right. Jackson. <laughs> All weapons formed against you shall prosper by Fred Hammond. Right. Uh, Jesus be a fist all around me. <laughs> Jesus be a fist. <laughs> Take the shackles off my hands so I can scrap by Mary Mary. Yeah. Stomp by Kirk Franklin. <laughs> there, there is a punch in Gilead, not a bomb. There is a punch in Gilead right. by the Clock Sisters. Yeah. Here's a good one. Melody's Hands from Heaven by Kirk Franklin. <laughs> His black eye is on the sparrow by Mahalia Jackson. <laughs> His black eye is on the sparrow. <laughs> <laughs> there's trouble don't last always, but then there's hussies don't last always by Reverend right. Uh, Timothy Wright. Right. We throw we throw our hands in the sanctuary. That one is by Kurt Carr. <laughs> right. Uh, old Slappy Day, uh, not old Happy Day. <laughs> old Slappy Day. <laughs> It, is my whipping in vain by the Clark sisters? Not my living, my whipping. Right. Uh, the battle is the Lord's and mine. That's by Yolanda Adams. And, <laughs> the battle uh, is the Lord's and mine. <laughs> and mine's. <laughs> and last but not least, God's got a, a, a beating with your name on it. That one is by Norman Hutchins. And uh, yeah, I think the choir, a mixture of those songs should uh, get the job right. done when Sister Pearl get in there to get her beat down. This and Sunday. let's run that yeah, clip I mean, one more time for the people in the back. <laughs> a message for uh sister pearl tell her i caught her leaving out my house the other day when you thought i was at work i know you and my husband been sneaking around i don't give a damn for one because my bills stay paid and that thing don't even get up no more it's oh. broke so you can what? have it and for two when i catch you at church sunday just make sure you take them heels off, because I'm going to knock your ass smooth up out of them. Run and tell oh. pastor that. <laughs> yeah. We'll be there. That's the church I want to join. We will be there Sunday. Rita, will Barbara you be there? Shirley. Yes, we'll be at the Greater Mount Nehi Baptist Church. Y'all be sure to pull up. Uh, they... <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> the Greater Mount Nehi Missionary Baptist Church. Make sure you pull up. All right. Yes. Uh, hey, Rita, let everybody know how they can follow you for that video. All right, you can follow me at Rita Brick Comedy. That's R I T A B R E N T Comedy. Rita Brick Comedy. And I had kitten heels on. Y'all follow me. Let's go. <laughs> capital G, capital A, capital O, capital T. B I C T. 
H. John J O B. It's time for Gary's Word of the Week. All right, John, it's time. Man. It's time. <laughs> It's time for Word of the Week with Gary with the T. Gary, what you got this morning? All right, Ricky, this word is a nice long word, and I'm going to do my best to pronounce it. So, are you ready? Here it goes. Now, the word today is vociferously. <laughs> what? For us. Yeah, yeah. Vociferous. Vociferously. Vos- no, you, you got to say it all together. Oh. Vociferous. Nope. Damn it. <laughs> Gary, yeah. you, you gotta yeah, why, 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 that damn word is. But why would we do a word for the day and you can't pronounce the word? <laughs> why? What's the point of this whole segment? You got it. Just make it all blend. Make all the syllables blend together. Vociferous. Damn it! Wait. <laughs> Your damn teeth too big. Yep. That's what it is. <laughs> wait on who? You don't want to pronounce the word. What do you Vociferous. mean? Vociferous. Damn it, y'all. You, <laughs> no, you couldn't practice it while we was in a commercial break. I tried to practice it. Hell. Slow down. Go ahead, for us, Vosip for us, Lee. V-O-S-I-H-F-O. It ain't no H. That's the phonetic spelling. We ain't going to help you get to do a Ricky Smiley morning show cruise like this. Tom Jones would have said it perfectly. It's spelled V-O-C-I-F-E-R-O-U-S-L-Y. Spell. It's not how you pronounce it, though. <laughs> <laughs> pronounce it. It's your segment. You the one say you wanted to expand black people's vocabulary, so say the word. Some, whoever chose this damn word, first of all, it's too damn long, number one. It don't matter. It don't matter. That's the whole purpose of the thing is to expand the vocabulary. We already know the words that we already know. We're trying to learn new words to expand the vocabulary, but you can't say the word. You could have you got the, you got the information on yesterday. Come on, Gary. Go ahead, You're doing spelled, a good job. It's spelled V O C. We already know what it's spelled. <laughs> what? We want to know how to pronounce it. <laughs> and use it in a sentence. <laughs> Stop asking me all these questions. Just use it in a sentence. Use it, in a, try it in, in a sentence. Use it in a uh-huh. sentence. While at Disney World, a terrified Gary with the T, Vosip. <laughs> all right, y'all. That's your word for the day. Uh, uh, we, we try it again, so we'll try again next week. Boy, you, you, need to, you should have did a black Tony this morning, y'all. Yeah. All right, more Rick is about the morning show coming up. News headlines, entertainment, sports. It's the front page on the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. All right, Rick is about the morning show. 26 minutes after the hour. Maria, good morning. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, RSMS family. Here's what's happening and news. As expected, uh, Jennifer and Jennifer and James Crumbly, the parents of Oxford High School mass shooter Ethan Crumbly, were sentenced to 10 to 15 years Tuesday after each was found guilty of four counts of involuntary manslaughter in separate trials earlier this year. The trials were a rare case of parents facing criminal charges and possible jail time over their role in a mass shooting carried out by their child. In other news, the Biden administration finalized the first national standard to limit dangerous forever chemicals found in nearly half of the drinking water in the United States. They are linked to a variety of health problems, including cancer, thyroid disease, reproductive problems, and heart and liver damage, among other issues. The chemicals are found in the blood of nearly 97 percent of all Americans, according to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Now, some environmentalists call the new rule a huge breakthrough and historic change that can help protect human health. Lastly, we all make uh, mistakes, right? Uh, Most of us wish we would have made one like this woman in Virginia. One million dollars richer thanks to a self-described mistake. Miriam Long of Roanoke, Virginia, says she went to a local CVS in March to purchase a ticket for Mega Millions, which at the time had nearly a $900 million jackpot. She used the Virginia lottery machine to purchase a Mega Millions ticket, but accidentally pressed the button for a Powerball ticket. And the computer-generated ticket matched the first five numbers, resulting in her winning a million dollars. Look at that. So, yeah, man, congratulations to her. (laughs) 
That is a good mistake. I'm Maria Moore, and that's what's happening in news for updates and other headlines. Visit rickysmileymorningshow.com. Rock T, what you got in sports? What up there, Maria? The winningest NCAA basketball coach. I'm talking about Stanford's women's head basketball coach, Tara Vanderveer. Tara Vanderveer has announced her retirement, man. She's uh, about to say, I'm done. Three-time national champion, NCAA record, 1,216 total victories, 45 years of coaching, man. So uh, she's 70 years old. A lot of people didn't even know she was that old, man. So um, enjoy your retirement. She's one of the greatest to do it. Josh Allen agrees to a five-year, $150 million deal to play linebackers for the Jaguars. I know all the Buffalo Bills fans just got nervous real quick. No, it ain't Josh Allen, the quarterback for the Bills. It's Josh Allen, the linebacker for the Jaguars. So uh, he was second in the league with 17 and a half sacks. So he just got that little old one, uh, $150 million deal. $88 million of that is guaranteed. Good news for track and field. They will become the first sport to introduce prize money at the Paris Olympics. $50,000 to gold medal winners. Now, the relay team, they got to split that $50,000, but there's a total of 48 events in track and field, and the gold medal winner, the first-place winner in each of those events will win $50,000. So that's dope. That's a good That's a good start right there. So if you get the silver or the bronze, which is second or third, that's not going to start. You ain't going to get paid until the 2028 Olympics yet, so stay tuned for that one. So we're making progress. There it is. That's my quick sports support right there. Brett got the hot spot right now. Hot Drop it like it's hot. hot. Drop it like it's hot. So hot, and hot. You can catch me at the hot spot. It's the B R A T. All right, it's the bottom of the hour time for the hot spot. What up, Brett? What up, Ricky? Good morning, everybody. I'm your girl, Brad Tat Tat, and this is the hot spot where we bring you music, movies, and more. So let's get off into it. DJ Cassidy is bringing Pastor Mike live to Sin City as he announces his new three-week Las Vegas residency at Planet Hollywood Resort and Casinos Back Theater coming this July. Uh, He will also be joined by Ja Rule, Fat Joe, Slick Rick, and Dougie Fresh. General on sale begins on Saturday, April 13th on Ticketmaster. Those things always be jumping, and I love when he brings the artists actually, you know, to the show. It's amazing. If you haven't caught it, you can catch all of them on, like, YouTube, DJ Cassidy, and just see it just rock the party when you put them on in the party and they come on your video screen and all the legendary songs play, and then the artists come on and do their parts. All right, y'all, moving on. KRS-One and Curtis Blow have added another accolade to their legendary careers, receiving the Presidential Lifetime Achievement Award at the National Hip Hop Museum induction ceremony last week. President Biden honored the rap legends with the awards at the National Hip Hop Museum in Washington, D.C. during a special ceremony. The ceremony was hosted by the RIAA's headquarters, attended by about 300 guests. Uh, During the event, the two rap legends were celebrated during a speech from Reverend Dr. George Holmes. So congratulations to them. Also, Mary J. Blige's most famous song is the subject of a lawsuit in which someone is claiming Universal Music Group allegedly sampled an old jam. A company called Tough America Inc., which owns Tough City Records, is suing the music publishing giant, claiming it sampled their song Impeach the President in Mary J.'s Real Love without getting permission. Real Love allegedly uses an uncleared sample from Impeach the President in both a sound recording and the musical composition. Tough City claims they've reached out to UMG over the issue, but Universal hasn't addressed their concerns, so now they're suing. Tough suing for damages and wants to stop Universal from continuing to profit off its sample in Real Love until the matter gets resolved. Mary J. Blige is not a defendant in this because, of course, she didn't produce the record, but Real Love was out some years ago. They probably... Decades uh, should, ago. Yeah, they probably yeah. should have uh, said something about this way earlier on if they wanted to get some profits from it. I mean, it probably makes a little bit of money now, but it definitely ain't selling, you know, records and moving units the way it did before. Uh, let me, I got time for one more quick story. Last but not least, y'all, Billy D. Williams believes actors should be able to perform in blackface. Oh, wow. In a new episode of Bill Maher's Club Random podcast, he recalled watching Lawrence Olivier in 1965's or- Othello, in which Olivier wore blackface to portray the title role. Williams said when he did Othello, I fell out laughing. Olivier stuck his butt out and walked around with his butt, you know, because black people are supposed to have big butts. I thought it was hysterical. I loved it. I love that kind of stuff. 
Bill Maher noted that today they would never let you do that, to which Williams replied, why not? You should do it. If you're an actor, you should do anything you want to do, Williams explained. The point is that you don't go through life feeling like I'm a victim. I refuse to go through life saying to the world, I'm pissed off. I'm not going to be pissed off for 24 hours a day. Wow, that is an interesting take on blackface. I think a lot of people will disagree, but that is his point, and he is entitled to that. All right, y'all, we're going to wrap up the hot spot on that note, but coming up next, we got the praise mixed down with the White Stone. The time now is 26 minutes before the top of the hour. It's the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Smiley Morning Show. All right, y'all, on the Ricky Smiley Morning Show, birthday beach blowout August the 9th through the 11th. Uh, listen. Y'all need to be trying to make your way to Hollywood, Florida, man. Listen, that's convenient. Both the Fort Lauderdale and Miami Airport, you don't need a passport. Listen, it's going to be off the chain. Listen, let's just start with the with the yoga stuff with Maria. Maria, let, let everybody know what you're going to be doing. Oh, yes. We're going to be moving our bodies, and it's not even going to feel like exercise. We'd be out there dancing and having a good time. I mean, I just love the vibes. Um, just good energy all around. You get to check out the beaches, the comedy shows, like I said, my fitness uh, classes. We had so much fun last year. It is a great girls trip. If you want to go with your boo thing, you have got to get your tickets because last year sold out fast. And Gary, everybody need to bring a church hat. Why? Because, baby, I'm going to be pouring some hot church tea, baby. You know, every girl loves good hot church tea, even though we all Christians, honey. But that tea is going to be hot. And you know what? It was so hot last year, honey, that it was spilling over, honey. The girls, half of the people couldn't even get in to get them some tea. But this year, you know about it now. So make sure you get your tea because you can get you some tea, honey. And you know what? We may be serving some crumpets, too. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. The the Gary Tea Party event was absolutely sold out, man. We got karaoke. It's going to be jet ski rides, parasailing. Hey, we're going to have the Greek stroll out. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. It's going to be at the Diplomat Beach Resort. Four diamond rated by AAA. Relaxation, celebration, inspiration. Hey, don't wait till the last minute when we start adding these groups. Live music, pool parties, barbecue, Greek festivities, and much more. Make sure you book now. Go to rickysmileybbb.com. That's rickysmileybbb.com. Don't miss it.